What's going on, y'all? It's your boy Sin. It's the top of the morning. I hope everybody feeling good, feeling great, feeling blessed, working hard to be successful. Now, before we get into this video, you already know we got some business we need to handle. All right, if you're new to the channel, be sure to hit the subscribe button right here. Hit it, tap it, push it. No, no, you gotta push it harder than that. All right, all right, all right. good looking, good looking, good looking. I appreciate that. And make sure if you like the content of this video that you hit the thumbs up, hit the thumbs up, you know what I mean? Turn, hit the little bell next to the subscribe. So when you uh, get online or you sitting on your phone somewhere, you get notified that sentence to drop the brand new video. All right, y'all. Today's video is gonna be another wonderful life of Reefa. There was no drugs used in this video. All right, y'all. I had the load from... I can't even say the... I had a crazy load. I had a crazy setup. I got set up. The setup got set up. The setup got set up. The load was crazy. All right, peep it. Let me go on my other phone. Now, because I got to look at all the, the loads that came in. All right, so I had a load that, let me get everything correct. Yo, my sprint phone is slow, son, for real. So I had a load that I had to pick up. This load even, nah, this started from the time I got out the house from Thanksgiving, from being off. So, I had a load. Let me see if this is it. All right. So, I had a load. I had to go to Jersey to get to run the Illinois. When it got the load, first of all, the first load, <laughs> the, the load from Jersey, the load from Jersey was overweight. My behind skipped the, missed the truck stop and... Um, Jersey. I end up in PA, 100 miles away. So I'm like, I'm heavy on the drives. I'm like, damn. I'm like, yo, you know what? I went and truck the path. And I pulled up the skills. You heard me? You heard me? I'm like, man, hell with that. I just came out from home time. I'm not doubling back. Hell, I ran. Took the chance. But that is not something I'm telling you to do. Do not do what sinners to do. Because you might get popped. So, I drop that load. I get there early. Clock running down. I got about maybe four hours. The office called me, yo, we got a load for you at Juliet going to Maryland. And I'm. they had that one and they had another load from Juliet going to Alabama. But Alabama, the hours, it, it, it was going to be crazy. So basically, I told them, I said, wait till I get unloaded before we book anything. Because all that pre-planning to jam you up. But now they went and got it. They got me this load to Maryland. So I'm like, all right. They're like, oh, if you drive the last, you know, three hours, you'll make it. I'm like, I'm telling you. We gotta run from, we gotta run down to Juliet, which wasn't too far away from where I was delivering. So it's a preloaded trailer, so I'm like, all right, back, good. Boom, drop my trailer, we hooked up the net. I got about two hours left, two and a half hours left. So I ran it. I then you get on 80 by Illinois, going into Indiana. Y'all already know. If you a truck driver, you already know that corridor is crazy with traffic. So, I run it the next day. I got about 11 hours and like 28 minutes. It was said it was going to take me on my Ram McNally to get there. So, I'm like, I'm going to have to run in the violation. Not including the fact we go through PA. Hills, curves, tunnel, construction. So, 
I run into violation coming over the uh what is it? Alton, Maryland or something like that, to Burris Foods. Get there. I'm out of hours. So I'm at the TA. I go to I come over here to the TA and they gonna book the next load the same night I had to deliver the other load. So let me see, where is it at? Um here we go. So out in Maryland, that delivery was for the six. Sorry, I had to count. For the six, seven o'clock that night. They gonna book the nuts load that same night. That same night. And that load was eleven o'clock. And I'm like how they expect me to go? How they expect me to go get this load? How they expect me to go get this load? And I'm like, I don't know what this dude looking at. All right. Anyway, um, so I deliver seven o'clock. I'm out of hours. The next pickup is in Delaware, two hours away. Now. The load from Delaware is going to Ohio. I'm on that load right now. Supposed to be in Ohio on the 7th. Today is the 9th. And I'm still sitting in Maryland right now. So, let me tell you what happened. The 7th, the next morning I get up. And... I get over there about 1 30 in the afternoon. I did not leave out of the chicken place till 4 o'clock the next morning, which would have been the 8th. Mm -hmm. So while I was sitting there, I dropped my trailer, ran to Walmart, grabbed some food for the truck, grabbed some stuff for little Booby, um, got some cereal, got some, got some TV dinner stuff. Cause you know I got the microwave, but anyway, get back over there. I'm up to about one o'clock that night, cause I was doing something on my laptop. And then when I finally decided to go lay down, cause I can't go to sleep, I was still wide awake. Soon as I decided to lay down, guess what? Oh, I'll go to door number such and such, number eight. So I'm like, oh man, all right. So I'm thinking they're gonna take forever, right? Nah. I get in the door, oh, they instantly in there. So I couldn't even go to sleep then. So by the time they done, I'm leaving about 4.30, 4 o'clock. I get down the road, I'm tired. I'm tired, I see a rest area come up. I'm like, yo, I'm taking a two hour power nap. Now, I drive two hours to come to this TA in Elton, Maryland, right off the 95. Scale the loadout. <laughs> Scale the loadout and look. I'm like, damn. I'm tired. I was tired yesterday. So now I got to go two hours back. Not just the fact that I had to go two hours back. Remember, I went to sleep for two hours, about two and a half hours. So I lost time on the clock. So I had to go all the way back, get in the door for them to take one pilot off. Dry. This time, I used the scale at the plant. I went past the scale when I was at the plant the other night. So that would have saved me the two hours from coming all the way up here. Man. Yo, I said, before I take this load back, I'm going to go get some breakfast. So I got breakfast yesterday, took it back. Then, after I get loaded, I had to come two hours back to this TA to park. Call C.H. Robinson, hey, this was going on, woo, woo, woo. And I'm like, I'm going to get at my people on Monday because why are you going to book the load 11 o'clock that night and you already I told y'all I was going to be out of hours because now 
You got now the chicken place got to work me in to get the chicken. I supposed to deliver this load Saturday. I supposed to be on a reset right now. Then here's the crazy part. Monday, this load got to get delivered tomorrow. I got another load on me that picks up tomorrow going to New York State. So, the low from New Jersey to Indiana, I mean, sorry, to Illinois, South Holland, Illinois, that affected the Juliet low. The Juliet low to Maryland affected the Delaware low going to Ohio. Now, the, the Delaware low to Ohio affects the Ohio low going to New York State. Let me do it one time for y'all. The wonderful life of Reefa. There was no drugs used in this video. You feel me? But guess what? I ain't giving up Reefa though. It comes with it. It's trucking. It comes with it. But I just wanted to let y'all know how crazy Reefa can get. You know what I mean? So I'm like, man. So today, I'm slow motion today. It's 10, it's 1030. I ain't moved yet. I ain't rushing either. <laughs> For real, I got my coffee on deck. I got to go scale the load. Now, when I scaled the load yesterday at the plant, the gross weight was 79,440 pounds. I don't really like trusting the weights at the plants. But I did yesterday because I'm like, yo, I be, I be damn. I go two hours back talking about, yo, I got to take another one off. Oh, Hell no. But if I had to, I would. Because I'm not paying no overweight chicken. Ain't happening. Ain't happening. Even though it's Sunday and yeah, I could assume the weight stations is closed. Nah, buddy. No. So, that was the wonderful adventure of Reefer for me for the last, what, the six, the seven, since I came out from home time. But anyway, I'm gonna wrap this video up. If you got a, if this video really helped you out in deciding if you want to do reefer coming in the trucking, or you just want to know what a truck driver goes through, please be sure to hit the thumbs up if you want to follow me on any of my other social media sites. In the description box down below is the links. Check the links out. Follow me on Instagram. Follow me on uh, Facebook. Follow me on Snapchat. I don't really use my Snapchat. Reefer, boy. Reefer. That's what reefer do to you. That's what reefer life will do to you. But anyway, I'm out of here. It's your boy Sinister. Let me go scale this load and I'll holler at y'all on the next video. Peace out.